checking the forecast 917 is the time and it's improving a little bit here along the Caloosahatchee. We're finally seeing a little sunshine breakthrough after the early morning rain that rolled through the Cape and right over the bridge here. Now that rain is still showing up on the radar and is showing a little signs of weakening as it moves past I 75. It all started this morning as this line was bringing rain from Rotunda Placida all the way up through uh, the Peace River there between Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte drying out along 75 and you can see the Cape is dry. The camera we just showed you is here shooting north than do North Ford Myers. The rain is uh, beginning to break apart a little bit, but still some pretty good downpours here along MLK and Colonial right there on the interstate. Six mile slough drying out now, and we'll start to see the skies turn a little bluer here. Right now, RSW seeing the end of the heavy rain as well. So if you're heading down tree line to Gulf Coast Town Center this morning, definitely a little wet weather, and that extends all the way near the county line at Bonita Springs. So this rain is going to continue to move inland here today. We could see another round of it inland towards Glades and Hendry County in just a bit. Uh, we did have some early morning showers also near Ave Maria and Immokalee. That line quickly moved towards the lake and a little bit drier now towards Marco and Everglades City. We even had one severe thunderstorm morning over in Miami-Dade County really early this morning. Now the computer modeling showing drier conditions ahead between now and noon, but with the sea breeze front and the winds kicking out of the southwest, we could see a couple of showers develop here near US 27, move towards Lakeport, Clewiston and Moorhaven, and that chance is pretty isolated. Our temperatures, upper 60s to low 70s here with 74 in Naples and where the rain fell uh, for a decent amount of time this morning. We are a little bit cooler than this time yesterday, but pretty quick now that the sun has come up. The temperatures will catch up and we'll all be in the low 80s. Boy, is it humid out though. Our dew point values upper 60s to around 70 and unfortunately the humidity is going to stay fairly high here. This cold front just does not have the punch to pull in the dry air from the north and you can see the wind around those showers 14 miles per hour in Page Field and Augusta 16 in the Cape. So now that the uh, wind is going to start to shift here this afternoon. It'll be a little gusty along the coast and what rain does develop. We'll get that little shove inland. So our average is 80. Our record is 91. We're going up to 82, so a little closer to average, but temperatures feel a lot hotter because of how humid it is outside. The readings in Punta Gorda could get up to 84 here today and overnight tonight, almost 10 degrees above our average sitting in the upper 60s. That could lead to the potential of some patchy fog as well. Changes are coming here in the seven day forecast over the weekend. We could be in the upper 80s here on Saturday with winds gusting 20 to 25. We'll see some scattered showers there on Sunday and then slightly cooler air arrives Monday and Tuesday before our next chance of ride arrives there on Wednesday afternoon with high temperatures near 81. We will see at least one morning in the upper 50s on Monday.